Well, I know our audio's off. There we go. <clears throat> Gotta get all of our audio switched over here. Mike is... Okay, that's good. Is the, the microphone, we gotta change that because I'm sitting right in front of the damn other microphone. We're gonna use this microphone. We're gonna use this microphone instead. So we're gonna mute that one and we're still transmitting. Yes, we are. All right, we're good there. Our game volume comes in here and that's transmitting as well. I think we're okay. We can go ahead and go into our PSP here. <clears throat> and we can switch our settings around. <clears throat> and we're going to transmit. Go all the way down to our connected display settings here. Switch our video output back to the TV, which means it's going to go through HDMI, and we are going to have some audio, baby. There we are. I need to turn this down a bit in my damn ears. Got my got my little sub sandwich I'm eating here. Who's moving? You. Get my Twitch app open here. Where the heck did the chat just go? Huh. There's the chat.
All right. Oh, I need to go get the strategy guide. I forgot. <clears throat> Excuse me. So where did I put the strategy guide? <clears throat> I would think I would put it in here. Oh, my bedroom. Stop and pet the cat when you walk by him, you know. Alright. So. <sighs> we have. The strategy guide. When I was a kid, and I'd get I'd get the Final Fantasy games like for Christmas and my birthday and stuff. I'd always get the strategy guide. So I now have Crisis Core on PSP. I never played PSP when it was like popular. When this game first came out, this is my first time ever playing Crisis Core, and I decided I wanted to have the strategy guide for it. I found it was like 15 bucks or something online, brand like not brand new, but like this is like. This is damn near like new condition. And I thought, you know, it's Final Fantasy related. Well, let's, uh... I wish I could eat through this quicker here. I should have maybe eaten it and then started the stream. So... There's 300 missions, holy smokes. Maps, Materia Fusion Guide, that's good. So, now, Yeah. So we're 11 hours in. And before we go into the game, I just I'm going to read the introduction here. And I'm going to look through a little bit of the of the strategy guide. So I'll read through the introduction here. The world is caught in a struggle between the people's thirst for energy and their yearning to be free. The land lies on the brink of crisis, and the only thing growing as fast as the Shinra Electric Power Company's riches is its list of enemies. Thanks to its monopoly on Mako Energy and growing influence across the planet, Shinra has become the envy and target of everyone. As the sole excavator and purveyor of the world's one true natural resource, Shinra is not about to let anything get in the way of its expansion. But this sort of unbridled greed can only run unchecked for so long before rebellious factions take root. Shinra is no stranger to violent protests and has historically countered any uprising with its own private army. This is no longer enough. Shinra now needs... Soldier... So we have Cloud on the far right, and then I think Sang of the Turks 
I'm like half on that, and then Sephiroth, and we have Zack, and then we have Angel, and we have Genesis. And so far, Genesis apparently was good, and now he's bad, and same with Angel. Soldier operatives are the company's elite guard, and equally important, have become the face of Shinra. Organized into three classes, it is the hope and dream of newcomers to one day ascend to soldier first class and be mentioned in the same breath as the legendary Sephiroth. Soldier first class operatives not only defend the company, but are a boon to public relations. Members like Sephiroth, Angel, and Genesis even have their own fan clubs. It was this it was this desire to one day become a hero like Sephiroth that drew young Zack to Soldier. At age 16, he's only a second class operative and still receives regular training and mentoring from his friend Angel. Angel accompanies Zack on his training missions and teaches him in the ways of combat concentration and honor the word honor gets thrown around rather carelessly by some but not by angel when he says it he means it and zach knows it <clears throat> as zach's role in soldier evolves and his missions grow grow in importance he begins to un uncover the most sinister of secrets within Shinra, and yet, even when faced with horrifying truths that make him question his own origins, it is the mentoring of Angel that keeps him centered and focused. He is soldier, and nothing will ever change that. About this guide. Crisis Core is the prequel to Final Fantasy VII and reveals the long-awaited background story to famed characters Cloud, Aerith, and Sephiroth, among others. Those who have played Final Fantasy VII or watched the movie Advent Children are no doubt familiar with the name Zack and Cloud's promise to him. Crisis Core answers the questions you no doubt have. I'm going to watch Advent Children tonight. And this strategy guide is here to help you understand even more. This guidebook covers everything you need to know about Crisis Core. Not only does it include a detailed walkthrough for the games, does this actually have the, the poster? Oh shit, it does have the poster. Wow. It also contains maps, tips, and unlocking info for all 300 missions in the game. Also included are the most thorough materia and equipment guides ever assembled. These chapters reveal every item and spell in the game, plus they explain how to get them and how to make them work, all in practical terms. And we didn't stop there. The materia fusion tables on the fold-out poster detail the thousand plus possible combinations and provide the exact recipes needed to create the most powerful materia ever. We at Brady Games have worked tirelessly to ensure this is the most comprehensive guidebook imaginable because, like you, <gasps> excuse me, we're fans too. So, that was the intro. Oh, shit. Zach Fair, personal data. 16 to 23 ages throughout the story. 6-1, sword, buster sword, birthplace, Gungaga. Zach is a soldier second class operative, and he's training at the hands of one of soldier's proudest members, Angeal. Zach is an energetic young man. Brimming with excitement and vigor, although he dreams of one day becoming a hero like his idol Sephiroth, Zack must first <clears throat> overcome his limitation. 
limitations, plural, excuse me. Zach's primary weakness is not physical but mental. Simply put, he has difficulty maintaining focus as deadly a character flaw as one could have on the battlefield. As time goes by and Zach matures and his ability to focus improves, he is promoted to soldier first class and given the most important assignments. He continues to respect Sephiroth, but it is Angeal he begins to emulate. Zach remembers all of Angeal's teachings and seeks to pass them down to those who follow in his footsteps, his soldier footsteps. Most importantly, Zack keeps his hope of becoming a hero alive and follows his dream in the most honorable way a soldier operative can. Key moments. Zack and Angel lying in wait during Zack's first official assignment. Somber meeting with the mother of his friend. Zack finally gets to meet his hero Sephiroth. He meets a beautiful girl in a mysterious church. Zack makes a new friend and becomes a mentor and a role model. It just has pictures. It shows Cloud. Links to Final Fantasy VII. Link to Final Fantasy VII. Cloud took on Zack's persona and kept his memory alive in Final Fantasy VII. Spoiler alert. This was due to admiration and memory loss on Cloud's part. Sephiroth eventually tries to reveal Cloud's past to him, and a hazy image of Zack is uncovered. But little was known about this character until now. Crisis Core shows who Zack was, how he became part of, how he came to be a part of Cloud's life, and why Cloud is so indebted to him. The events in Final Fantasy VII led us to believe that Cloud actually thinks that Zack's memories are his own. But it is not so simple. Cloud and Zack form an indelible, indelible friendship over the course of events in Crisis Core. Cloud hints at this friendship in a scene in Advent Children when Cloud visits Zack's grave and says, I said I'd live your part from now on. Crisis Core sheds light on what the promise made between Zack and Cloud was. Zack is shown in Advent Children bearing a scar on his cheek. The origin of the scar is revealed in Crisis Core. The scar was even depicted in the fighting game Ergies. Ergies? Ergies? Zack has propensity for doing squats. Zack has a propensity for doing squats, but fans of Final Fantasy VII already know this because of Cloud's fondness for them as well. Cloud was seen doing squats several times during Final Fantasy VII. He was once again emulating his close friend Zack. Angel Hewley. Personal data around 25, Buster Sword, and he was born in Benora. Zack was born in Gungaga. Angel is a soldier first class operative <clears throat> who carries himself with the dignity and honor befitting his position. Angel grew up in the small village of Benora as a childhood friend of Genesis. Once in soldier, Genesis and Angel befriended Sephiroth, and the three became the most successful and popular soldier operatives ever. When not on assignment, Angel spends his time mentoring Zack. The two become close friends, and Angel works hard to <clears throat> to impart his beliefs to the impressionable youngster. Angel's reasons for joining Soldier are uncertain, but it's clear that his family has a history with the sword and a deep respect for its power. Key moments. Angel is always right behind Zack to help him pick up when he falls, pick up if he falls. Angel is instrument in, instrumental in introducing Zack to Director Lazar, the man in charge of Soldier. One can never tell exactly when Angel will drop in. Um... Linked to Final Fantasy VII, Crisis Core represents the introduction of Angel. He was not mentioned in Final Fantasy VII, nor did he appear in Advent Children or Dirge of Cerberus. Genesis Rapsodos. He's like 25, his weapon's a rapier, and he's he was born in Benora as well. <laughs> Genesis is the son of wealthy parents who grew up on a hill above the village of Benora. He joined Soldier... At an early age, along with his friend Angel, Aunt Genesis turns to the epic poem Loveless for his inspiration and guidance. He devotes much of his spare time looking for hidden meanings within the poem and hypothesizing about its lost final act. Genesis goes missing from Soldier and is the subject of a great search by those refusing to believe the worst. Key moments. Genesis was the first to uncover what it truly means to be a member of Soldier. Genesis and Angel would routinely simulate training battles with their friend Sephiroth. Link to Final Fantasy VII. Genesis did not appear in Final Fantasy VII or Advent Children, but he did appear briefly in a secret movie of in he did appear briefly in a secret movie in Dirge of Cerberus, which takes place three years after Final Fantasy VII. In that game, Genesis is simply referred to as G, and his motives and identity are a mystery. The hidden movie that contains Genesis appears just before the game's true ending, and hints at Genesis's reawakening after the events of Dirge of Cerberus. Interesting. Sephiroth. <clears throat> Sephiroth is, like, aside from Kefka, is, like, the most famous Final Fantasy boss. Like, bad guy. 
and he is scary, and he's a badass, and he's fucking cool. He's 25, Massimune Nibelheim is where he's born. Sephiroth is the most famous and highly regarded soldier first class operative, and is considered by all of Midgar to be a tremendous uh, hero. Midgar. Midgar. I used to always say Midgar, now I've been saying Midgar. I don't, I don't mean to be saying it that way, Midgar. Anyways, <clears throat> I don't mean to be saying Midgar. Midgar sounds weird to me. It's how it's spelled. Okay, but as a kid, it just... Oh, Midgar. I don't know. Rolled off the tongue easier. Uh, tremendous hero. He is a man of few words who prefers to let his sword do the talking. Do his talking. Although he is close friends with Genesis and Angeal, a part of him always felt that he was a breed apart, unique and alone. As the years pass, Sephiroth grows increasingly obsessive and spends his time studying old Shinra research documents, and eventually he learns the truth. Sephiroth doesn't share Zack's excitement over their first assignment together. Forever serious, Sephiroth doesn't like to be left waiting. Sensing a breakthrough, Sephiroth reveals to Zack that big changes are underway. Link to Final Fantasy VII. The name Sephiroth needs little introduction. Renowned and feared as the terrorizing mortal enemy to Cloud in Final Fantasy VII, the name Sephiroth has come to represent the very essence of evil. Yeah, he was scary in Final Fantasy VII. Crisis Core reveals the reason for Sephiroth's evil ways and uncovers the stormy relationship between him and Cloud. Crisis Core shows how and why Sephiroth transformed from a soldier hero to the planet's worst enemy. Okay, we actually just got uh, Eris. <clears throat> so, uh, Eris Gainsborough. 16 to 22 ages uh, throughout the story. She, she's, uh, her, her height is 5'4 at age 22. That must mean that right now she's not even 5'4. She was born at the Icicle Lodge. Eris is a young girl living beneath the Midgar Plate in the Sector 5 slums. She's pretty, well-liked, and although she spends her time tending the flowers she grows in an abandoned church, she has never actually seen the sky. She meets Zack through happenstance and immediately takes a liking to him. Although she doesn't know what to make of the fact that he's in Soldier, she withholds judgment and chooses to like him for who he is rather than who his employer is. Eris shares her dreams and wishes with Zack, but doesn't reveal to him the one thing that makes her so special. Link to Final Fantasy VII. Eris isn't just one of the most adored characters in Final Fantasy VII. She's one of the most beloved video game characters of all time. Her role as the tragic heroine... In Final Fantasy VII, left an indelible image on the memories of gamers around the world. Yet, despite the strong affection for her, much of her past is left shrouded in, sh in secret. Crisis Core fills in many of the gaps by showing fans exactly why she spoke so fondly of a man named Zack in Final Fantasy VII, and why she behaves the way she does around Cloud. Uh, we're not going to introduce Cloud yet, because he's not... they haven't really shown him in the game. And then we have Sang and Cisne and Hojo. We have Tifa. We have Yuffie. Um, these are all pretty quick. Sang. Sang is a senior member of the Turks, a highly secretive intelligence agency working for Shinra. Sang is a man of few words, but isn't averse to making the occasional sarcastic comment. He respects the members of Soldier, but not as his equals. It's possible that the cruel actions demanded of him by Shinra have simply taken their toll on his personality. Cisne. Cisne is a young member of the Turks who was born and raised within the Shinra society. She was trained from a young age to become a Turk, and she takes her job very seriously. Cisne enjoys the attention given to her by Zack, and for the first time in her life, she lets down her guard and allows emotion to have a say in her actions. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, Cisne is secretly jealous of the attention Zack pays Eris and has strong feelings for him. So Cisne has a crush on Zack. Zack has a crush on Eris. Eris has a crush on Zack, I'm sure. Link to Final Fantasy VII. Cisne didn't make an appearance in Final Fantasy VII, but she was one of the 11 player Turks in Before Crisis. I don't even know what the fuck Before Crisis is. So I need to look up what Before Crisis is. The scene on the beach in Nibble Plains, in the Nibble Plains with her and Zack, appears in both Before Crisis and Crisis Core. Also, Link to Final Fantasy VII for Sang. Sang has a similar role in Final Fantasy VII to his role in Crisis Core. The main difference, though, is that he no longer wears the ponytail in Final Fantasy VII. Sang does mature a bit during the time between Crisis Core and the events in Final Fantasy VII, and he often appears in Final Fantasy VII not as a field operative, but as a leader and moderator. Hojo. <clears throat> 
Hojo is the top researcher at Shinra headquarters and has developed a number of training programs regarding the creation of new, unique monsters. He also He's also a very arrogant man who holds a grudge and is not about to let anything stop his research. Research is in quotations. Link to Final Fantasy VII. Hojo's experiments during the events of Crisis Core set the stage for much of the story in Final Fantasy VII. In many ways, he is the true force of evil in this series. Tifa Lockhart. Tifa is a young girl in Nibelheim who is hired as a guide to lead Sephiroth and Zack to the Mako Excavation Facility. She is not a fan of Shin- Shin- Shinra, excuse me, and although she admits to desiring a blonde-haired soldier operative for a boyfriend, she does not have a lot of nice things to say about soldier. Tifa meets Cloud in Nibelheim during the events of Crisis Core, and their friendship carries over to Final Fantasy VII. Tifa has always liked Cloud and enjoys helping him restore his memory when they unite, reunite in Final Fantasy VII. She ultimately lets her feelings be known near the end of Final Fantasy VII, and the two can be seen living together during the events of Advent Children and Dirge of Cerberus. Yuffie Kisaragi. <clears throat> Yuffie is a young, spunky girl from Wutai who wants nothing more than the destru- destruction of Shinra and for Wutai to be restored to its former ways. She's also addicted to treasure and the ways of material hunting and will do anything to get her hands on special items. Even cheat, lie, and steal if she has to. She's age 9 at the start of this game. Link to Final Fantasy VII. Yuffie learns about the powers of material in Before Crisis, so we need to look up Before Crisis again, and carries this knowledge into Crisis Core where she tries time and uh, time again to pilfer treasure from Zack. Yuffie continues her thieving ways in Final Fantasy VII, even attempts to trick people with fake save points in both games. Yuffie also plays a significant role in assisting Vincent in Dirge of Cerberus. Okay, we have game concepts, core, normal, vital stats. I'm just kind of going to... Um, excuse me. You can actually go up to level 99. Oh wow, his those are all of his stats. Digital Mind Wave. The Digital Mind Wave is a brand new feature exclusive to Crisis Core and comes in the form of a slot machine uh, like set of wheels that appear in the upper left corner of the screen during combat. Consumes 10 SP each time it spins, which is done automatically. It's responsible for triggering Zack's limit break attacks, his leveling up, and the leveling up of his equipped materia. DMW acts on its own accord. There's no way to start or stop it manually. The only way the DMW will not spin is if Zack has 9 or fewer SP or is under the curse status effect. Although the outcome can be considered random, the DMW behaves in a very predictable and orderly fashion. This uh, flowchart on the previous page details the steps the DMW takes from the time it starts spinning to when it stops. I don't really care. The images. There are 18 DMW images, but only Angela and Sephiroth are available at the start. The others are added to the DMW as you progress through the story and obtain valuable items and materia in mission mode. Only human characters appear in the standard DMW wheels. Summoned monsters and special creatures like Chocobo and Moogle only appear if during modulating phase the wheels randomly trigger summon mode or Chocobo mode. Similarly, the wheels will occasionally enter Genesis mode and the left and right images will be replaced by Genesis's picture.
Okay. All right. Well, not a whole lot else going on there. Okay, the prologue. It's uh, the dark of night and Zack, a young soldier, second class, is awaiting his latest mission. Wu Tai troops have com commandeered the express train MK-93-2, uh, Mark II, bound for Sector 8 in Midgar. It's up to Zack to eliminate the Wu Tai assailants and stop the train. Zack must concentrate his talents, ignore the Shinra disguise his targets wear, and reroute the speeding train to Sector 1, Station 1 near Mako Reactor 1. Successful completion of this mission is critical not only for the integrity of the reactor, but for Zack's quest to become soldier first class. It's his dream to rise in the soldier ranks and work alongside heroes such as his mentor, Angeal, the legendary Sephiroth. If only Zack could focus. So basically, yep, yeah, it's like, kind of tells you all this stuff and area map and... You know, all the different missions here and the forts, near the forts, whatever. So, I think what I'm going to kind of try to do is, I think it's like, it's like chapter 8 or something like that, that we have like stuff that we can start missing. Um, okay, so right here. Sector 5 slums. Okay. Says you can complete about roughly 65. About 65 of the missions can be done right now. says you can do 65 without even doing the very hard ones. So let's see what we've got here. Okay. <clears throat> right. So we're going to go to our missions. Oh my god. Okay, so we've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so at this point we've done seven. I guess we'll go ahead and start doing some missions. I like doing all the missions because it does help you out with the main story. Dude, my back is so warm because I've turned the heat on. I have the heat on my uh, on my chair, and I just got done eating some food, so my belly's all full of good good bomb food. Well, I mean, not that good. It was just a sub sandwich. And a cheese, it was like a cheese and salami sandwich thing that I also had. I had a sub sandwich uh, from the gas station and a cheese and salami sandwich. Oh, it's a... Uh... What the fuck? Activating combat mode. Should we go hit the cactar first? We're going to have to redo this one, depending on what happens here. Okay. 
Okay, so we're gonna go back and we're gonna whenever we see a cactar, we have to go to the cactar for sure. So we're gonna go right back in there. And we're gonna hit that um This song is so good. I love it. We're gonna go hit this cactar. Activating combat mode. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I guess since we still have so many missions to do, like, right now, that I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, dude. Uh... I'm so sorry, dude. I, I, I didn't know you were talking, Glider. I It just now populated. I'm sure you would have said all this stuff when I was actually... I kept looking to see if you were talking. Waiting for the wife to get home. Yeah, well, happy Easter, man. Yeah, it's a cool vibe. It's like, it's like just hanging out. Like I got the nice couch or recliner, or whatever. I'm in my sweatpants. It's Sunday. I got my little uh, oh yeah, brother, step into a slim gym. Got my little juice here. A little body armor, you know, it's like coconut water and all this stuff. It's probably not very healthy because it tastes really good. So it probably has more sugar in it than a fucking Mountain Dew or something. But, well, it's page, page 49 is where we're supposed to go. I'm going to adjust the old balls there right on stream in front of everybody. Um, yeah, have you ever played Crisis Core, dude? I've never played this game before. But I'm a big Final Fantasy VII fan. Okay. Dude, you got a quesadilla. Are you dipping it in some salsa? That's what I'd be doing. I'd be dipping that in some salsa and some hot sauce. Yeah, so these little missions that you go on, when you, uh, if you walk along the edge of a room, then you, a lot of times you won't actually get into fights. Um, but sometimes, like right here, they actually have the enemy, like, the enemy's visible. So right now, this, you can see this enemy right here, and it, it's weird. They don't usually do that. Usually the only enemy that you can see is the is the final boss of the mission. So if you do it right, you can actually go through the entire mission without getting in any fights, and you can get, like, the two or three items that are in there if you hug the walls, and then... You get to the end, you get to the final boss, and, you, like, see, right in here, if I just run into the middle of the room, I'll probably get into a fight. So I'm going to try to run along the edge of the room, because I don't like to get into a bunch of fights. Um, yeah, okay, I got into a fight anyways. So see, these enemies, we didn't actually see them at the start of this fight. They populated after we got into the fight. But whatever, it's fine. Just in general, I like to, like, rip through these missions as quick as I can, because... They did not have this garbage. I don't really like them all that much. Uh, they didn't have this in Final Fantasy VII. Final Fantasy VII, you would just run around and get into like random battles if you wanted to farm. So I can I can actually like go around and I can dodge behind. Well, when it lets me, and then I can attack it from behind and I get critical strikes. It's extremely easy right now because I've I've been doing a lot of missions. And leveling up and equipping like really good items and really good materia and stuff. So see like right now. So there's Eris over there at the looking at the flowers. 
I just fell through the roof and landed on the flowers. But um, I'm gonna go over here and like do all these missions and level up a bunch before I before I go over and and talk to her again. I think there's like so many freaking missions right now. Eliminate the death machines. Yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of stuff going on here. Pretty cool beat. Pretty cool beat. All right, so I always check behind me. There's a, a road, like a barrier behind me. So that means that we can't go we can't go backwards. It means I need to go this way. Well, there's the boss. So I'm gonna look. I'm gonna go around the edges. I'm gonna see if there's a chest maybe behind one of these. No, nope, no chest, no chest. So this one, this one apparently does not have. Oh, I just saw one. There we go, right in the corner. So we're gonna <clears throat> run over to the corner here without getting any other battles. So this one right here is going to be the fastest one that we've done so far because I didn't get into a single battle aside from just the boss. Oh god. I forget which one I I forget which one I want to kill. Whoops, I did that wrong. I don't know which one we really want to kill first, but you don't want to stand here and get hit hit by all three of them really. You kind of want to try to focus fire them if you can. Um Oh shit, I need to move. I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here and I need to... Oh, okay, this is the first modulating phase we've hit since you're watching. Chocobo mode. Oh, Tonberry. Tonberry is like a badass. Oh, and Cactar. I don't even know what's going to happen. Nothing. Nothing happened. There we go. Let's see if we can finish this guy off because we got some criticals. There we go. Now let's see about getting around behind... Let's see if we can get behind this guy. Chainsaw. Okay, there we go. Let's get behind him. There we go. Ah, uh, nope. Alright, there we go. We got it now. Nice easy mode. Yeah, the Tonberry, he's a badass. Shinra Alpha. I think I got poisoned or something. I got some Mithril Gloves as well. It's pretty cool. So, like, yeah, in a regular game, it seems like you would, like, run around and you'd farm to get items and to get experience. In this game, you kind of don't really do that. You you kind of do the missions. Let's see if there's, nope, no new items really. But um, let's go ahead and let's pop a save real quick. There we are. All right, let's, let's keep killing some missions here. Okay, so we're done with these. We're done with these. So, so we were at seven. So now we're at eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So number twelve. Yeah, we're at twelve. Then we have uh, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Let's try this one out. This one was kind of kicking my ass earlier. So if I can beat this one, I'll be at twenty missions done. As far as counting, I've already done more than 20 missions, but... This one's very hard. I couldn't beat it before. I don't remember why. But we're going to see... Okay, we're going to see what we can find out here. Yeah, we're in the slums. Um, these Some of these very hard missions that I couldn't do before... I know that I need to basically just change up like my 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 gear, like my approach a little bit. Okay. Okay, there's another item. We need to try to get over here to get that item before we... We might get into a battle, though. Mm. Wow, I did that right. Did that perfect. So let's let's fight the boss. Let's, let's see. 
I need to make sure I'm at full health first. Pretty good health. Okay. We don't need this guy messing me up here. Okay. Critical, 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 critical. Come on. Okay, we oh, I should have I should have moved right there. <clears throat> yeah, that's what we want. I need to be able to get to his back a little bit quicker than I did. Okay. I should have seen that coming. I keep getting hit by that. You want to... <clears throat> okay, this is not good. He kills me whenever he hits me with this. I'm high enough level now that it didn't kill me. I think we're going to be okay. Yeah. See, we couldn't beat that one before. That was a tough one before. Because I, I didn't have enough health to eat that tomahawk. Uh, boom, boomerang tomahawk thing or whatever the hell it was called. Okay, well, that's 20. That's 20. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, let's see if we can do this. I have no idea if I'm going to be able to beat this because that other one they were hitting it was hitting me like a tank. But I I ate it pretty good there. Oh, and we're actually going to we're going to change up our gear because we just got a couple of items as well. So let's see what our best gear is now. Nothing changed. Wow. Still nothing changed. Okay, this is a little bit of a long one. Okay, we look around for items. There's no items. We're going to be turning right, so we're going to quickly look left and see there's... I don't think that there's a chest over there. Oh, there is a chest. See, you really have to play with the, with the angles um, to, to make sure this is right. Stay in the corners, because I don't want to get into extra fights for no reason. I'm mostly focused on being able to kill the boss. If I can't kill the boss of the mission, I need to figure out how to change my, my approach. Okay, now we're going in here. I think we're going to go to the right. We're going to look left, go right. Uh, on this next... On the T intersection. We're going to look left, go right. Run around the edge. And we're going to look left for any items. Oh. Okay. Nothing here. Okay, but we're going to actually go to the right, and then when we hit the corner room here, we're going to check corners for treasure chests. Nope, nothing there, nothing there. Just go through here. I don't know if you can get into a fight in the middle of the room right here. I don't think so. Okay, but right here we'll get into a fight unless I can keep... you got to like get the camera like moved like just right. There we go. We shouldn't have a fight in this T-intersection. Yeah. Oh, shit, so there's the end boss. So actually... What we're going to do now, now that we know that, is we're going to come back over here. Can you not even get fights at all up here? You should be able to get... No? Alright. I guess you can't. Item. No item. Alright, here we go. Let's go fight the boss. We got the items. We know where the boss is. Oh, I need to do some work stuff, actually. Six o'clock. I'll fight this boss, then I'll do my, my quick work stuff. Alright. I'm going to try to get around to his back. First thing. And then we're going to see what does he do, because I don't really recall fighting this guy that much. Okay. These big guys hit like a tank. Okay. If we were, if we were behind him... We missed, he completely missed us with that. And he's going to attack quick, so we dodge. There we go. Okay. Okay, he's going to attack probably pretty quick. We dodge. 
Okay, give me a good one. Come on, give me a good one. I haven't seen hers yet. Come on, do hers, do hers. Four twenty seven big block. Lucky stars level four. You can do it, Zach. <laughs> oh, look at him, he's dancing. Alright! Awesome, we got it done. Cool. Alright, well, I am going to I have to do my work real quick. It's like five minutes or so. I have to make some Facebook posts looking for looking for new properties for me to get under contract and so I, I need to start making some money. So I'm gonna still stay streaming, but I'm gonna get out of the recliner. Uh oh. I'm not sure why that did that. Um, let's go ahead and... I just bought a PS2. I gotta make sure I don't step on it. Because I, I need to redo... I need to like redo a bunch of stuff over here. Um, as far as like my power cords and everything. Let me go ahead and plug this puppy in and get it charged in a little bit. And I'm gonna... Come over here on my computer... And I'm going to start doing my work. Um, let's see here. Might as well check my work email while I'm at it. Yep, fortunately nobody hit me up, so that's great. Now, uh... Yep, we've got that. We've got... That's the wrong one. That's the right one. Okay, get rid of that. Get rid of that. We got that. Let me pop that open. Okay. Uh, this is the very last day of the month, huh? March 31st. Okay. Yeah, I was only like 70% this month. I was not good on my KPIs for my Facebook posting. So I need to get mad at myself and I need to freaking change it up in April. I need to have April be my best month ever. I really do. I need to kick dicks in April. All right. Um, okay. So we've got that, that, <clears throat> that, that. All right. I'm ready to start making my posts. So yeah, it should be about five minutes. Glider, how's your quesadilla, boss? Yeah, I need to look up what Before Crisis is. I've uh, I've never heard of that really, or haven't really paid much attention. Um, but I'm really paying attention now, because I've got Dirge of Cerberus in the mail coming to my house. And I'm playing Crisis Core, baby. And I just, you know, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth came out. So we are on, like... <clears throat> this amazing Final Fantasy adventure right now. Oh, 
almost half done with, with my work. Before crisis, before crisis. <clears throat> I wonder if Before Crisis is a TV show or a, a, a short movie or a movie or... Uh, I wonder what... I wonder what that is. Okay, I can't actually post in this group until April 21st. <laughs> uh, these groups are funny when they block me. Shit makes me laugh. Whoops. Or delete that. <clears throat> so music's pretty cool. Not nearly as cool as the music when you when you fall through the church roof in Final Fantasy VII, but still pretty cool, still pretty chill. Didn't mean to click on that. There we go. I have a post that's pending. And delete all that. Oh, they blocked me in that group right there. Damn, gotta replace a group. Okay. <clears throat> I'm almost done here. I have to re I have to find a new Facebook group to join. Because I got kicked out of one. Um, so... Um, okay, groups... Um, city, there we go. Eh, not really wanting to be in there. No. Uh, oh, I like this one, new to Nashville. Two point four K. There we go. Is it let me stay in it? Yep, yep, yep. Oh, this guy posted on my mountain butt mountain. Okay, I can get rid of all that, and now it's time to play the game again. Excuse me, I can't believe I burped on stream. What what a dirty guy. <clears throat> Whoop. What did I drop back here? Oh, my juice is right here. Freaking perfect. Okay, we don't need the strategy guide for right now. So we're going to put the strategy guide over here. Got my juice. Uh. Oh, my God. You always got to adjust your balls when you, you know, you got all these layers on. You know, like you sit, sit in a chair. Your balls are just all over. So inappropriate. Can't believe how inappropriate I am. All right. Good enough. Let's get back at it. What are we doing? Missions. So basically, I'm going to count up the missions later on. I... Yeah. March into Wutai. Okay. 
good. Just making sure I got like plenty of slack over here. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, this shit's gonna be long. Oh, what? This is this is the longest one we've done. So, look left behind us. Okay, we've already got a treasure chest over here. So let's get let's get after this one. Muscle belt. Go down there. Look look left, look left. Okay, I think I know what to do now. Okay, we're okay. We can't go past that, so that's fine. We need to look for a chest right in here. No chest, we need that's to go. Ah! Oh. We need to get some MP. Our MP is a little low. Oh, we're fucking this guy up. He's about to have a problem. Prove your honor to me. I got it. Fire! He did not like that. That was not an enjoyable experience for him. I liked it though. Okay, that's probably where the end boss is. Aw, oh, what? Man, I'm really sucking on this. What's this summon mode? My limit is sky high right now. That's my emotions. My emotions are sky high. Good work, both of you. Where is Angio? Nowhere to be found. I'll explain later. Must be prepared. Oh, I leveled up. I was gonna say, I can't believe that they didn't kill him, but it's because we didn't do the limit break yet. Mm, now he's dead. Now he's dead. <laughs> Whoa, double chest? How did I get to be so lucky? Now we're gonna see if we can get in a fight in a corner. Can we get in, can we get in a fight? I don't really even care to find out, to be honest. Okay, let's go in through here. Okay, the boss is gonna have to be like around this corner at the end of this uh, T intersection. Or at the end of this, at the T intersection, yep. Oh, it is pretty smart if you can actually start behind them because you're going to be able to do a lot more uh, damage. Start off with the crits. Oh, that, w that didn't work. Oh, 
gonna say, can we finish him off now? Mace Boomerang? I have double health right now, so I hope I can eat this. <laughs> Oof. That was a tough one. Oh, we got a champion belt? I'm curious to see what that is. I'm very curious to see what a champion belt is. This week, we start steaks only. Well, I think I do have some chicken. So I'm going to do chicken, probably chicken Tuesday. Maybe chicken Thursday. Rudy's Friday night. Um, I don't know. Yeah, there's the champion belt, baby. Keeps endure status active. It is pretty important, I think. Attack and Vitality 10 prevents poison. Let's let's just see what we notice here. As far as a difference goes. So attack and magic prevents silence. You could do a power wrist, which is only attack 10, or you could do attack and magic plus 10, prevent silence. So yeah, let's let's do this and let's see if the endure, if we notice that the endure is is gone. Let me look up what before crisis is. I'm doing just a little bit of work. Okay. Before before crisis, what is this? It's a PSP game. Oh, it's the Turks.
Oh, if it hasn't been released outside of Japan, I'm not really worried about it. Oh, it's considered lost media? Alright, I definitely don't need to worry about it. There's a mobile game called Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis. What the fuck is this now? Good lord. Oh, it's a gotcha game? No, I don't play those, so... That, that probably means it's like none of it's really... None of it's like really considered um, canon, I would imagine. Alright, what do we got here? We just started. Let's check behind us. As quick as we can anyways, let's check behind us. There we go. Gotta work to get that camera to spin, baby. Okay, but there's not really anything up here in this corner. I imagine. Okay, I do see a chest, so we're gonna definitely go after that at some point. Where is the chest? It's gonna be, yep, okay, I see where the chest is. Fuck me. Fuck me. Fucking got hit right away really hard right there. Okay, well, this isn't good. That's what I thought, pussy ass bitches. Okay, let's keep going this way. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, oh, I see the boss. Okay. Didn't even see what that item was. I don't really notice that I that the that the enduring thing was missing right there. Okay, we have full health. Okay, that's not good. Okay. This is not good. Hmm. We're missing a little bit of health. Level up vital slash. Is this the end? I'm trying. I'm trying. Kind of a pain in the ass. It's like a little tricky, actually. Just be able to run straight at the boss. No more items. All right, let's see what we can get. Oh, wait. Start it behind him. Activating combat or not. Bring it on. Oh, shit. Let's try to kick, kick this one off here real quick here first. Okay, I definitely got whacked by... Ah! Damn. I could have avoided that. I could have avoided that. It's the first mission. 
and play missions for like an hour. That's the first one I failed at. I'm pretty sure I can do that. I'm pretty sure I can do that. I got a little greedy. Got a little greedy. All right, so we're gonna go right. I'm gonna hug the wall the whole time. We don't have any items to pick up this time. I don't even think we need to hug the wall. Although I will still hug the right side. Because the left side, I think we got in a fight. Yeah. Okay. I think we can. We might be able to run straight to the boss. <sighs> Let's go left now because right we couldn't sneak up on him. Okay, now we should be able to get up behind. Oh, okay. This is fine because I think we can kill this thing first real quick too. Okay. All right, Matt. <laughs> Jesus, I should have been able to, should have been able to dodge that. Okay, move. All right. Get out of there. I don't know what the hell that was. So we don't have enough health for that, but I think we can do a health up. So instead of like, instead of the vital slash, we can do the HP up and that'll be enough. Kind of thought we had another HP up, to be honest. The highest my health goes is to 2,700. Oh, no, we had HP up, but then we have an HP up plus. So I made the plus. Yeah, there we go. So now we can use the Kiraga. Okay. All right, let's get after it. We got it, baby. We got it, baby. Wait, no. There we go. Fuck, are we only playing missions tonight? Like, I didn't realize how many missions they just gave us right now. This music isn't as good. Okay, again, we want to go all the way around. Aw, oh, man. Well, this is okay. Oh, shit. I keep giving my back. Cast Kiraga. Oh, you fucker. Cast Kiraga. Now let's get out of here. Okay, now. Alright. We might be okay here. Oh, I get healed. Thanks. Okay. Well, that's great, because I was... I was just going to heal myself.
I have full day I have full health. I'm overhealed. So we're golden. We're golden. I don't care. We're golden. Oh my god, and I guarded it on top of that. Okay. There we go. Oh, we got this. He's got to be dead, like, right now. Come on. He's got to be dead. This guy's got some health. There he is. There he is. Sprint shoes. Okay. Sprint shoes are one of my favorite items from Final Fantasy 3. So that's kind of interesting. Let's come over here to our equipment. Let's go over to best. Offense. So it really... I didn't even notice that Endure was off. So we don't want to use Endure anymore. But we want to see what are sprint shoes in this game. Let's, let's go ahead and sort... Wait. Prevent stop? Oh, they're fucking dumb in this game. So, yeah, let's do act, act, attack and vitality, prevents poison, and then let's do the other one that's like attack. Uh, yeah, there we go, prevent silence. That's, I'm cool with that. And then, yeah, I think we're, we're pretty good here. The darkness one increases health. Oh my gosh. Okay, I guess. Hmm. Alright, let's go ahead and save it up. Let's keep going. You kind of have to take time to do these freaking missions. Like... Okay, Genesis Forces. All done there. To end the war with Wutai behind the scenes, the five saints of Wutai. Okay, this is going to be difficult. I assume it's going to be difficult. Activating combat mode. That startled me. I dodged those fireballs like a fucking pimp. We mastered the jump. You can do it, Zach. Yeah, I'm on fire now. Oh, really? Twice in a row?
Come on, please cast a Tom Berry spell on him. Please do Tom Berry somehow. Yeah, dude. Ah, <laughs> Tom Berry. No, not me. Oh, God. Oh, he tripped and fell. And this. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That's so cool. This guy's got some health. Holy crap balls. Well, I wonder who that is. We haven't unlocked that character yet. Here we go. Go, go, go. Okay, let's go left first. I mean, if you're gonna just be able to stun lock him like this, then I guess I just keep rolling. Oh, I'm getting crits, even though I'm hitting him in the front. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I dig on that. Now let's let's just go. Well, okay, fine. Okay, that was kind of garbage. That okay. I noticed endure not working there. Secundus. Why are they so short, by the way? Oh, yeah, we still got like over three hours of this. So we're definitely going to get some story going for sure. We'll get these missions going, but we're going to definitely do some story time. dead oh you're dead buddy what was his name Turtus
Probably getting a fight in the corner. There we go. Ontis. Oh, okay, so they get to turn around. So all three of my stats are double broke, like they're broke to the cap right now. Whew. Man, I think just because I ate some food and stuff, I'm like sitting here like, oh, and I'm so warm and comfy. Oh, it means we're going to be hitting crits in the face now. Time to get critted. Oh, get critted. Oh, crit, crit, crit. Oh, crit your face off. Wu Tai Secret Shop. That's pretty cool. Fuck yeah, let's go shopping at the Wu Tai Secret Shop. We don't have any regular cures. We don't have a white cape, which prevents silence, but I'm okay with that. Wu Tai Secret Shop. Ooh! Ho, ho. Whoa! <sighs> Dang, doggy! Dang! That'd be pretty cool, just like put fire attacks. Quake, Hellfire Aga. Oh, I see. I need to wake the fuck up. Okay. Ugh. Oh my god. Hojo's got more freaking experiments, huh?
Okay. I usually like to sit in the hot tub, but I already sat in the hot tub, I feel like, a couple times the last couple days. So I might not have to sit in the hot tub today. Oh, dude, it's the whole fucking length. It's the whole fucking thing. This is a Hojo one. Activating combat mode. Didn't mean to walk out that far. Bring it on. Oh, yeah. Conflict resolved. Activating combat mode. Okay, it's not in here. No treasure chest. I feel like my like left lower back is like hurting a little bit. It's kind of making me mad. No items. Wow, this one's weird. Way weird, actually. I mean, not if there's going to be items in here, it's not weird. Well, I guess that's what we're doing here. Hey, man, it's good. It's good. I'm just, just still doing some missions here. Oh, I level up my my uh, cure spell. I'm getting a little tired, man. I like, I'm trying to like wake my ass up. I think my body is like getting too comfortable because I got the heat on on the on the chair. And I just had a little bit of food. Um, Alright, let's see here. You need to move your ass. There we go. I need to move my ass. But yeah, I'm just killing these missions here. Oh, wow, we leveled up. Sweet, level 25. We... Oh yeah, we lucked out there. Lucky stars. You can do it, Zach. Yeah, I'm on fire now. Yeah, these missions are good because. Oh yeah, oh, yeah when you stream after work. Yeah, I get that. Oh, I get that. I mean, I'm just. I got the I got the heater on. Like I'm like I got the heated chair on. You know. And, um, 
I'm not really getting into the story because I'm not really doing any story because they just gave me all these missions to do. And you, you kind of want to do missions because when you do missions, they um, they unlock new shit for you. Like, this one's really cool. Like, so in theory, I should be able to do all three of these missions and get the Cactar, like, Summoner Materia or whatever the fuck. Uh, and Cactar is pretty cool. And the Final Fantasy Realm, Cactar is pretty cool. It's, it's like, you know, this little, this little cactus that, like, always tries to run away from you, like, in, in all the Final Fantasy games. Uh, okay, so he could really be anywhere at this point. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go north. And we're gonna see if we can't find, uh, I have to, I have to see, we have to look for the cactar. Oh wow, I got hit by that. It's okay. I don't really like the combat in this game. Um, it's very easy, and there's just a bunch of shit going on, so it's it's almost like it overly complicates. This is the end. Like you're just you're every every single fight you're doing these limit breaks, and you can't skip these cutscenes. You know, so it's like it takes longer for, kind of in my opinion, no no reason. All right, so we're going to the right. Okay, nothing, nothing to the right. Let's look to the left. Okay, nothing here. No items. Okay, so now we know that this is all a dead end over here. So now we're gonna go up. Nothing there. We're gonna go around the corner. There's the cactar. So that means that we're gonna come to. This is gonna be the end. So we're gonna go all the way back down here, and we'll just go left. Our orientation left, not bird's eye view left. From the god's eye view perspective. What the frick, man? I'm not seeing any items. Oh, there we go. You gotta do a good thorough job of getting your items in, in RPGs, I'll tell you that. Final Fantasy, yeah, yeah, gotta get lots of items, help you out, keep you alive, make you powerful, make you strong, oh, there's another one, perfect, so now we have all the items and we know where the cactar is, so we'll go do that now, and my cat just like walked in my room and he really hasn't been wanting to hang out in the in the computer room very very often lately. So it's kind of neat that he's in here. Um, he looks like he kind of might want to jump up and look out the window a little bit. He's he's rubbing his head on my foot. Hi, cheeseburger. Uh, I'm trying to look at him without him seeing that I'm looking at him. So he's like exploring. He doesn't like to come in the computer room. I think just because it's like kind of a small, like, confined room. But. Hi, buddy. That's a good boy. Oh, wow. I smashed that cactar. The cat's name is Cheeseburger. Hi, Cheeseburger. That's a good boy. Hi. If I give him too much attention, he'll like he'll get mad and like he'll leave. He'll be like, I'm bipolar. All right, let's keep. I definitely want to do the Cactar ones. I I like those for sure. Cac Cactoid Secrets. Cactar with a K. It's interesting. Yeah, I can see my cat. He's just he's actually just watching me. He's sitting in the middle of the room, which he never does, and he's just watching me play. So this is actually like a really neat thing that I've never seen him do. So it kind of makes me happy um, to think that he's like warming up more and more as as he lives with me longer. Cause yeah, he's 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 kind of skittish, you know. 
I think I'm like, I, I move a little too fast for him sometimes. Just, I don't know, I just move with purpose, I guess. I like stand up and sit down and stuff. Um, but, uh, okay, he's gonna be checking out behind the door and he's checking out the paper shredder. And uh, he's gonna start walking out now. But now he's not walking out. He's kind of just hanging out and looking at me. I, I probably do like this song the best. Okay, so we've already checked out all that. So now we need to go. We need to go left. We have no items right here, so we need to go left. And there's gonna be a fight right here if I don't go to the edge. So. Okay, we're gonna check to the right for items. Yep, we got an item. Ah, oh, I knew that was gonna be an issue. I knew that was gonna be an issue. See, and here's the problem with the cactars is if you do it wrong, they could actually mess you up. Like, they have, like, this thousand needle attack. Oh, see? I'm, I'm not hugging the wall perfectly. Okay, well, thunder is, like, a direct line that shoots out right in front of the uh, enemies, so that's pretty cool that I can uh, dodge that. Like, you can just hit the dot. Whoops. Dodge button is the map button when you're not in combat. But yeah, you can just dodge and avoid some stuff sometimes. Okay, nothing there. I already saw the cactar, didn't I? Yeah, so I'm up here looking for, for items. And that's why we come over here. Oh, see? If you're like one full step out from the damn thing. Go get, go get the cat truck quick. There we go. There we go. Oh, wow. You got a curse ring. I got one of those at the very beginning of the game. It levels you up, but it hurts your stats. No. Oh, it makes it so that you cannot uh, gain experience at all. So if you, for whatever reason, don't want to level, like maybe you want to do a low-level run, you can put on a cursed ring. All right, let's fuck up this cactar. We can go around to the right. Maybe there's an item tucked away over here. No. So let's check over here. Nothing. Let's go fight. Oh, there's double, double trouble. I usually only have to hit him like twice though. Yeah, there we go. We got the cactar. Got another champion belt. All right. You have to, like, stay on top of these missions, or they just pile the fuck up. Oh, my gosh. It's insane. I really don't like that twisted headband. I really would rather be rocking the, uh, the diamond gloves. Because then, yeah, we don't, we don't, we don't get the, uh, silence. Um... We, uh, we can actually he heal ourselves. Okay, we're gonna look to the left. We've got an item. I do not see the cactar jumping around over there. So, um. Uh... Hi, Cheesy. Hi, buddy. Um. Oops, we don't wanna run up against that. It'll actually take us out of the mission. I definitely almost triggered a fight right there. I was like a step or two out of way. 
dun 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 Okay. Okay, there's nothing here, so we're gonna go this direction, and we're oh, there we are. I'm gonna actually cut over here first, so we can cut. I really want to take an eye, take a look in here. Nothing. That should be the end of it. Yep. So we'll come over here now. He kind of looked like he wanted to climb up, and uh, uh, uh sit up on this deal that I've got here. So I'm going to move my PlayStation over for him a little bit. And, uh, oh, what is this? Lab oh, it's a label maker tape. Huh, that's funny. Push a bunch of stuff over in the corner so it's easier for, for him to climb up and look out the window if he wants to. Alright, white cape. Didn't we just get one of those and I decided I really didn't care about it? It prevents silence without actually giving you any other stats. So, like, it doesn't boost your stats at all. Whereas the item that I have right now boosts my attack and my magic by 10 at least. Which, I mean... One thing I'm finding out is that you do not need magic in this game. Like, to get as far as I am right now, which is not that far... Do not need magic. X pot. Alright, let's fuck him up. Let's give me three of them? Oh, wow, he actually has some health this time. Cactus Thorn. So now we have the Cactar uh, Materia uh, summon unlocked in the DMV. So now if we come down to the missions, Mysteries of the World, yep, Cactoid and Tom Barry are both complete. Wow, so the Tom Barry wasn't even hard either. It's kind of interesting. To hell and back. Oh, wow, we still have to do that one. I remember this one. I remember this one. <coughs> yeah, I was trying to run towards the treasure chest off to the right. And I couldn't even get there because the enemies that we run into on the way there were, like, fucking me up. So, here, let's try, let's try it. Look to the right. Boom. Treasure chest. And let's see if we can make it to the treasure chest now that we've leveled up a few times. Because these little, like, ostrich bastards were fucking my world before. Okay. Move! No, you still... I still die right away. Why? 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 I don't understand it. Why is that so hard? Zack the Materia Hunter. Hell and back. I don't understand. I don't understand. Activating combat mode. Okay, we might be okay now. Okay, there we go. Get out of here, get out of here. Cure. There we go. Okay. Cure. Okay. You need to cure. Okay, I can't fucking do anything. Dodge. There we go. Now we can lock him. Okay, you just... Uh-oh. Okay, I think we can still kill him. There we go. So that's all you have to do is like learn how to fight the fucker. Okay, we got a dash. 
This one is difficult. Those guys fucking suck. Okay. So we look around. Now I know there was another... I know there was another item over here. So we want to look. So he's... He's like in the bottom left. But I know there's still an item over here. Ah, oh, shitballs, fuck. I, I just think that one's so annoying that I'm going to save it for later. Wait, no, I can still do it because I already got the one item. So let me keep doing that. Let me keep doing that. Let me keep doing that. Because now, since I've got the item off to the right, it'll be gone. Which means I can just go over to the item to the left. And I can slowly figure out my shit over here. Um, I think we're okay. Would you actually give me the damn office slash, please? So I can freaking beat the shit out of something real quick here. Thank you. I would have rather you attacked the ostrich, but that's okay. Okay, I need to get the fuck out of here. Did I heal? I don't know if I healed or not. Okay, this is not good. Fuck me in the ass! Yeah, we need to just wait until we got some other shit going on for that one. It's just so annoying. Wait a second, isn't there a map for this? I think there's a map. Let me, let me see the map here. Let me see the map. Let me see the map. To hell and back. Yeah, yeah. Okay, in the mines, in the plains, right here. So we start, there's a dash. Oh, there's an AP up plus plus. So the stun really hurts us. The stun really hurts us. Um, yeah, the stun sucks. Just out of curiosity.
we're gonna we're gonna try some lightning. Do I have a fire ring? I don't have a fire ring, but I have the lightning ring. So this will at least do some more damage, I guess. Okay, so let's shoot let's shoot left and go try to get the X potion. And we're going to hug the border the whole entire way around and see if that gets us anywhere. Okay. This is fine. This is fine. And okay, now we're going to hug left. And this should get us over to the X potion. And it did. Now, if we're lucky, we're going to hug and get past the ostrich. We got past the ostrich. We're going to run over to the, the treasure chest. Okay. Okay. Okay, this is not good. Oh my god, dude. I tried to dodge, but I was like stuck in the corner. It's okay. It's okay. We got all the items. So now what we can do is we can... We actually want to get this material that's at the end of the next mission. I just looked it up. It's really good. So we're going to hug the wall. All the way up until the boss. Honestly, we need to cast Barrier at the very start. Like, right when we go in, we need to cast Barrier immediately. Because those pack, the, the fucking ostriches, they hit us so fucking hard. And then our attacks, in theory, should add lightning damage. And I guess a lot of stuff I read in the strategy guide here is susceptible to fire. So... It might actually be beneficial. Okay, alright, okay, oh my god! Isn't that insane? You just get wiped the fuck out? So literally, I cannot move. I need to cast Barrier the instant I get in there. Alright, I'm learning here. If you're not learning, you're stupid. You don't exactly have to have the highest IQ in the world to be smart. You just have to be able to learn from your mistakes and your experiences. Okay, we're going to cast Barrier as soon as we can. Barrier as soon as we can, Matt. Barrier as soon as we can. Oh my god, I'm like right on top of him. Barrier. Okay. Hit move. Okay. Oh my god! Fucking Blizzara smoked my ass. And now I'm silenced. I'm silenced. That is not good. So we need to be able to prevent silence. We need to be able to prevent silence. Kiraga is mastered. Okay, I mean, cool, I guess. Who are you going to actually attack here? Concentrate. I'm feeling it. Okay, that's maybe okay. That's not... Our attack... Our damage is not very good at all. We need to move. We need to move. Okay, so silence fucked us in the asshole. So... Now that we learned that... Okay. Uh, 
Okay, preventing stun is huge. Adding the lightning, that's huge. Uh, we don't need Asuna. We need Kiraga. We need that. We don't need M Barrier. Regen is going to be great. We need... Wait, we need something that prevents silence. Nope. Probably diamond gloves. Because our attack has just been sucking. So now in... Okay, we have that. That's all good. We have Kiraga. So we're gonna... We don't have the thing that prevents stun, though. So this is the prevent stun slot. I gotta pee. Okay. We're gonna prevent stun. We're gonna prevent stun and silence. We have additional attack and magic. We have Kiraga. This is all attack, 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 attack. And then, do we want to cast... Does regen automatically cast it on us? I don't think it does. We probably want to do HP up to get even more health. Yeah. Barrier. 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 We need to cast barrier right when we get in. Okay, so we can actually save this. Aw, oh, damn it. Guess we can't save while we're in here. Shit. I should have done it before. That way I could have saved when I was outside. That's okay. Cast barrier immediately. Motherfucker. Run up here. Dodge it. Cure it. Attack. Move. 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 Oh, this is not good. Cast Kiraga. Move. 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 Okay. Now attack. If we can get some attacks in. I didn't want to really attack him. Move. Okay. No. There we go. Attack. Okay. No. Move. 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 Fucking cure. Fucking hell. Move. Kiraga. Move. Get him. Fuck! God, it barely clipped the edge of me. I have to piss. That makes me so mad, dude. I was doing great right there.
Well, okay. We got everything together, and then I died. So we need to go ahead and equip the best offense. But we have to put barrier in there. We're going to get rid of vital slash. We're going to put barrier in there. And then we're going to... Let's get rid of power attack, and let's put in... HP plus. Okay. And we don't want either of these. We want prevent silence, prevent stun, prevent silence. Okay, now we have all of the right material. Uh, everything's equipped properly now, I believe, for us to go ahead and save. Okay. Whoops. Okay, anonymous hints. Yep, Helen back. There we go. To hell in the plane. Idiom hell in the planes. Okay. So barrier. We're casting barrier right away. We're gonna try to focus the little bastards. And then we're gonna have to like round We're just this is just really tough having the two uh, ostriches as I flick my boogies all over the place. Could also try to kill this guy before anybody else gets to me. Okay, we did that. Move. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay, now go. 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 Yes, lock them. Lock them. Lock them. Come on, baby. Give me the good saying. Give me the good. Okay. Fuck them up, doggy. Let's go. Fuck them up. Fuck them up. Fuck them up hard, dude. Get them. I'm trying. I'm trying. I am, but I have been trying. There we go. Yeah, dude. Fuck them up. Yeah! Wow! That crit, 9,999? Good lord. Holy balls. That was pretty wild. We definitely have to go ahead and save after doing that. Yeah, that was the hardest one. We just beat our hardest mission. Took freaking long enough. Um, okay, we're going to go back down to Materia Hunter to Hell and Back. And this one right here has a really good reward, apparently. So, Hell Fundaga is the Materia that you get from this. And apparently it's like one of the game's best Materias. I don't know what that means, but I want it. And then maybe we'll just start using it. I don't know. I generally don't just stand around... And use materials, though. I like to just run right up and bash stuff in the face. Okay, so we're going to go forward. We're going to go right. Activating combat mode. 
Okay. Okay. What the fucking hell, dude? What the fucking hell was that? What the fucking hell was that? Oh my god. 5,000 it hit me for. Okay. So yeah, we need to we need to block lightning attacks, that's for sure. Okay, equipment best offense. Ugh! But now let's go back in here and let's look at Okay. Suspicious no. Yeah, EM hell, whatever. Okay. Thunder armlet. We have to equip the thunder armlet. Apparently. I don't think we even need that. So let's see if we got a thunder armlet. Lightning armlet? Okay, well, where do we get the thunder armlet from? exactly where to find let me see here Okay, we're going to go Crisis Core Thunder Thunder Armlet. Interesting. Thunder Armlet. It says here, found in mission 723 and 744. 723 and 744. Hold up, hold up, hold up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two. Okay, all right. Let's let's get in here. Seven, two, three. So we do two missions here, and then we can go take the Thunder Armlet over there and get that. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and grab our equipment and let's equip our best offense. But we need to come back here. I don't want to have stuff that's mastered on. I want to be mastering some other stuff. So like... I want to master a Fyraga. Oh my gosh. Let me see here. Where's the Materia Fusion Guide? That's all walkthrough. Accessories and items. Materia and abilities. Mission guide. Walkthrough. This is all walkthrough. Game system. OK. 
Okay. Oh, these are a bunch of cool maps and stuff. Oh, concept art. Oh, man. How cool. Oh, okay. Okay, that's Wishes, Bestiary, Wishes, Bestiary, Shops, Accessories and Items, Materia and Abilities. Okay, I need to read up a little bit on materia here, I think. <sighs> um, So you have five, okay, so you have to have five ranks of fire to make a fire aga. Same thing goes for like thunder, huh? Like three. Huh. So let me see here. So we have a fire aga already. So let's try for, let's try for blizzara, two blizzaras. What does that do? It keeps a Blizzara. Okay. I'm 
we'll make a Thundara. Uh, we don't want to. Do we want to do that? It doesn't really do anything there. Thunder level one, thunder level one. Wait, hold on. Well, yeah, that's okay. Because that actually is making them do something. Thunder and thunder. No. No. So what the hell am I supposed to do here? I want to make... Oh, it's a shitty blizzard. <clears throat> okay. It's saying in the fold out. So they're saying this thing right here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my god. It keeps going. This is a. Well, it's like a thing of Zach. I'm glad I got the poster in here. It's pretty cool. Um. Let's see here. There we go. Fusion, rank, and result. Okay. Fusion, rank, and result. Okay, here we go. be honest, I don't really know what the hell I'm doing with the materia thing. I mean, really, all I'm wanting to do is, my, th my thought anyways, is like, you know, can you do something with them to where 
where it makes sense. You know, like that, that kind of makes sense to me. It's like, okay, like that's a pretty strong fire. You know, like blizzard, okay, thunder, fire So what if we do like two fire Is that going to do anything at all? No, it doesn't, so I'm not going to do it. Blizzara. So we get the Blizzara out. We get the other Blizzara out. Is that going to do anything? No. So get those out of there. And, uh, you know, yeah, okay, we have a Mastered Cure. Curaga with Regen. Doesn't really do anything. Like, what if we do, like, Curaga and Fyra? What does that do? Mm, nothing. <laughs> But we could, like, what if we do, like, double Asuna? Nothing. Wait, hold on. It means Asuna gives us SP1. So I'll do that. That's fine. I think it's good to, like, consolidate these a little bit as we kind of go along here. If we can get them to, like, level each other up, then okay, alright, you know. Barrier and barrier one. Yeah, it like makes that one barrier a little bit better. Okay, cool. But again, like the fire, the fire is. There's like one silence and another silence. No. Gravities. See, there's like three gravities, so gravity would be cool if gravity did something, and it does. Yay. That's all I'm trying to do is like just consolidate them as long as I can see that it causes an upgrade to happen. Like we already have a master to jump, we already have a master to soul twister. You know, this HP up here. I'd be interested to see what happens with the HP up. Can we get the HP up even better? Not really. Not really. The HP up doesn't really work. Attack up. Okay, nothing really worth doing here. So... But I do want to level some stuff up still, so let's get over to equipment. So a Fyraga, Fire Blizzard. So what's the best like Blizzard thing that we have? We have a couple Blizzaras, so let's get a Blizzara on there. Let's not even worry about healing for right now. Let's get a thun let's get a Thunder spell on there. We only have regular Thunders, but let's do Thunder. There you go. So we don't even have a Thundara, let alone a Thundaga. We have Fireaga up. So I do I do want to get all of these up all the way. I want to make sure that like nothing is really sitting on there. There's the old tit bangle. That'll be good enough. All right, let's go ahead and get rolling here. Let's go to the right first. Actually, which one am I even? I don't even know which one I'm doing. I don't even know which one I'm doing right here. Because I should have I should have the map open on the strategy guide because then it'll tell me exactly where stuff is at, so it'll speed me up. We got a blizzard. Dairy Queen Blizzard. Okay, we're crossing over to this now. And then I think I'm going to stick right. I think we're going to stay right. I do see that we 
have a treasure chest there. Ooh, we got a treasure chest here. I'm glad I looked back. Clearly, this is not where we are supposed to go to finish this one. So let's get back on down here. Activating combat mode. I should have been holding to the left. Apparently can't stagger very much here. Oh, I didn't even see what the hell that was. Something, something, something tome. Almost 8 o'clock. Oh yeah, we got a couple more hours of this. I'm cool, I'm cool, I'm down. I'm cool, I'm cool, I'm down. Um, okay, missions. In the war with Wu Tai. Everything's done there. Everything's done there. Everything's done there. The remnants strike again. Oh my god, dude. I just. <sighs> Fucked up here. down to connect to display switch it back over to this come back over here come back over here over here over here over here there start the game up again Yeah, okay, got it. Let's go. Yeah, 13 hours in. Yeah, all right, there we go. Go.
Okay. Four. Four. One. Okay, uh, so let's go in here. Okay, we're going to hug the left. Gonna keep on hugging left until we get all the way to the end. We'll cut across on the way back, right here. Okay, we're going to get a river chocobo armlet now. Okay, that was a little risky. But I did it. Pulled it off. Okay. Going to go back up now. Activating combat mode. Okay. 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 You can do 
it, Zack. Yeah, I'm on fire now. Heavenly. Heavenly limit, baby. Oh my gosh, he's fucking dead. He's not? Alright. It's weird. I have 5,000 health right now. <laughs> Damn you, Scuba Steve. Oh my god. Well, I think we're okay. Leveled up. Prove your honor to me. I got it. Okay, so this one right here. Oh, the Vajra, uh, Vajradara Indas. Vajradara Indras, yeah. Interesting. Uh, make sure a regen or aerial drain. Aerial drain. Regen or aerial drain. Materials equipped. Uh, let me look here. So nothing is mastered, so that's fine. Regen or aerial drain. I mean, I would say let's get rid of this one right here. Regen. Or aerial drain. So when we go into this fight right here, we might just want to cast regen immediately. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. Fuck me. Motherfucker, dude. Well, I'm fucking dead. 
Yeah, I'm not doing this one anymore. I'm fucking done with missions for a little bit. Shit's annoying. <sighs> Going in there without the Kiraga as well was fucking stupid. I don't I don't feel like doing missions anymore. Let's go do some fucking quests. Let's go do some fucking quests. Let's come up here. Equipment. Let's put on our best offense. But let's get rid of everything that's mastered. We don't care about that. I want I want attack ten. Uh, there we go. Now I want I want whatever our best fire spell is. Well, I want to HP up as well. HP up plus. Okay, we have two Blizzard uh, Fireaga. Okay, and then we want a. Let's get a Thunder going. Um. Yeah, we can let everything else stay on there. And uh, let's use Kiraga. And let's save it up and let's go play. We're three hours into just doing the missions. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. How boring. Okay. Protect your honor. It looks like they're at the beach. What the fuck? So cute.
This is really wild to be like playing this. Um. Strategy guide says there's supposed to be two ethers in the corner of the room. It's really neat the angle they keep showing that we're underneath the plate. You really didn't understand that in the original game because the, the camera was always from top down. This kind of like from the side angle showing that it's really cool to me. I really like it a lot.
Man, I'm tired. All right, we're waiting for her to come back. I think this is a good spot to stop. I am just tired. I am beat. I am losing energy. So I'm going to kill it for now. I'll keep playing this week, though. Thanks for watching. Did uh, like 10 hours of streaming today, so we got definitely got some good stuff in. Um... But I'm out for now. Have a good one.